Hello and welcome to the 2020 Build It Awards. The Built It Awards is the UK's most prestigious scheme celebrating excellence in the self-build and renovation industry. And there are plenty of amazing suppliers, products and projects to celebrate this year. Before we start, I'd like to say a huge thank you to our headline sponsor, Build Store, and to all our sponsors, without whom we wouldn't be able to make the awards happen. Now, 2020 has been a challenging year like no other. It's difficult to understate the terrible impact of COVID, along with the fallout of two lengthy lockdowns. In times like these, it's more important than ever that we come together, albeit virtually, to look for the positives and celebrate our success stories. This is the ninth iteration of the Build It Awards, and this year we've gone temporarily digital, something we're all having to get a bit more used to in this era of social distancing and home working. Now, one of the unexpected outcomes of the COVID crisis is that with more time to dwell on what's wrong with their current homes, vast numbers of people are feeling the urge to make a change. That could be through a remodel or an extension, perhaps to create a home office, or it might be by moving out to the country and self-building their dream home away from the urban hustle and bustle. Either way, the hunger to create something different, higher quality, better tailored to their needs has taken hold and the market has been far more buoyant than expected as a result. This has created a thirst for knowledge, and our audience engagement through BuildIt's printed magazine and digital platforms combined is up over 50% year on year. Unfortunately, with exhibitions remaining illegal, we haven't been able to satisfy this thirst via physical shows, but we have been able to answer large numbers of excellent questions through online events such as webinars and virtual exhibition. The Builder audience has never been more active, which is great news for all of you. And crucially, you, the trusted company shortlisted in this year's Builder Awards, are best placed to help the audience achieve their goals and successfully deliver their next project. The self-build and renovation industry is built on the twin foundations of innovation and unrivaled customer support. And I'm delighted to say that even in these exceptional times, those two prongs shine inexorably through this year's impressive shortlist. The judges really had their work cut out for them, so congratulations to everybody who made the shortlist. You are the people who will really help Britain to build back better. Now, I'm sure you're all as excited as I am to find out who the winners of the, the awards are this year, so I'm delighted to welcome Richard Bacon MP, a true champion of self-build and the architect of the Right to Build legislation, to say a few words and take us through this year's awards. Well, Chris, thank you very much indeed. It's such a pleasure to be here at the Build It Magazine Annual Awards. It's always a highlight for me because it reminds us that it is the self-builders and custom house builders who are going to help us solve the problems we face. There's no doubt this country has something of a housing crisis. There's a whole generation that's being priced out of the opportunity to ever own their own house. And that's not good socially, it's not good economically, it's not good for employers, it's not good for families or businesses ultimately. And it's self-builders and custom house builders who are going to help with that. We know that more than half of people would like at some point in their lives to design or build or commission their own house. Nationwide has done some research showing that the number could be as high as 61%. And in the crucial cohort of people between the age of 18 and 34, it's actually 80%. Four out of five people would like at some point in their lives to commission their own house. But the market we're faced with, for the most part, uh, is a small number of very large companies telling people what kind of house they want rather than listening to customers uh, and having customers actually tell uh, what they want and then, and then get it. And the way we will get an answer to this is by listening to the voice of customers more, by lowering barriers to entry and allowing more choice, and then customer choice will do the rest. And that's why I introduced the Self-Build and Custom House Building Act, which the government subsequently strengthened in 2016 and I was very pleased that Robert, Robert Jenrick, the Housing Secretary, recently announced on Right to Build today that he's going to review the current law to see how it operates in order to make it still easier for people who want to bring forward their own projects and make different choices. We've got a lot to get on with this afternoon. We have 25 awards to present. Uh, for each category, you'll see uh, a short list appear on your screens. Uh, and then the winner will be announced either by me or by one of our kind sponsors. Our first award is Best Architect or Designer for a Self-Build Project. There were two rounds of judging for this award, first by the Build It Magazine Awards panel, and then by Build It readers. 
This category is kindly sponsored by Kluber UK. I'm pleased to welcome their sales director, Matt Higgs, to introduce the shortlist. Hello, Matt. Hello, Richard. The number and quality of entries this year was spectacular, and many fantastic projects didn't make it onto the shortlist. So the seven companies here should be very proud of their achievement. Clover are delighted to be sponsoring the award for Best Architect for a Self-Built Project. So let's have a look at the nominations here on the screen. So let's see who the winner is. Got the envelope here. Delighted to announce that the winner for the award for the best architect or designer for a self built project is Strom Architects for Island Rest. Congratulations. The judges were wowed by this elegant, low impact design that disappears into its site and allows the stunning views to do the talking. Huge congratulations to Strom. Our second award is for the best SIPS home, or structured insulated panels for those of you who don't speak in three-letter acronyms. Our shortlist is... I'm delighted to announce the winner of best SIPS home for 2020 is Potton for the Jays. The winning project is an energy-efficient replacement dwelling built on the same footprint as the original property. The SIPS panels help to pack this new home with plenty of wow factor features, such as vaulted ceilings to create a wonderful sense of light and space. The next award today is for best heating system or product. As always with this category, there was a diverse range of impressive products to judge. Let's take a look at the shortlist. This was a tough one for the judges, but I can reveal that the winner is Orange House Renewables for their water source heat pump. This is a fantastic example of how self-builders and renovators can access sustainable heating via a resource that's currently underused, namely our country's water resources. Best custom build project or model. Custom build is opening up opportunities for more people to create a bespoke home and the models that made it onto this year's shortlist are fantastic blueprints for others to follow. I'm pleased to welcome Bob Davis from the Structural Timber Association, who will be announcing the award. Hello, Bob. Hello, everyone. The judges were impressed by all the models on the shortlist and were pleased to see most were at an advanced stage, but there can only be one winner. Let's see who's on the shortlist. I've just uh, received my envelope today. Um, on behalf of the Structural Timber Association, I'm very pleased to announce the winner of Best Custom Build Project is Lived In for In Gold Store. Congratulations to them. Well done. So this year's award goes to In Goldisthorpe, a scheme of 12 plots that the judges felt embodies what custom build could be. Imagine if even half the small settlements across the UK saw modest growth with this kind of incremental tailor-made development. It's got to be the way forward for our housing market. And now for best architect or designer for a renovation or extension. This award is again decided by a combination of scores from the Build It Awards judges and an online poll of Build It readers. Take a look at the shortlist.
The fantastic quality of entries always makes this category difficult to judge. I'm pleased to announce that this year's winner is a bear and ball architect for Chapel House. Scoring highly with both the judges and the public, this is a truly breathtaking project that combines a full refurbishment with a stunning extension that's completely modern and of its time, yet wonderfully sympathetic to the original building. And now here's my personal favorite, best plumbing or drainage product. This year, five companies impressed the judges enough to make it onto the shortlist. Let's take a look. The 2020 winner is Marley Plumbing and Drainage for their foundry finished rainwater system. Many homeowners aspire to add some colour to their projects and Marley's foundry finish allows them to do just that with a modern take on traditionally styled rainwear goods. The next award is for the best self-build for under £250,000. This category is kindly sponsored by ProTech and I'd like to invite their MD Simon Middleton to announce the winner. Welcome, Simon. Thank you, Richard. This is an important category as Build It is keen to champion self-build for the many, not just for the relatively wealthy few. In most other developed countries, self-build is a mainstream option for everyone. So I totally agree with Build It on the importance of this award. ProTech are pleased to sponsor this important category and I'm told that three inspiring projects made it onto the shortlist this year. So let's have a look at them. Okay, let's see who's won. I'm pleased to announce that the best self-built 2020 for under £250,000 is Frame Technologies for Birchfield. Congratulations. This project proves that you do not need a huge budget to achieve a great family-friendly home, particularly if you get really involved. Congratulations to all involved. Okay, let's move on to sustainability, a topic that's increasingly important to self-builders looking to create healthy, efficient and low-carbon homes. We have four companies looking to provide great solutions to environmental issues. Take a look at the shortlist for best sustainable technology or product. The deserved winner is Corksol UK for Thermocork. There was strong competition in this category, but the winner stood out as a truly sustainable product that makes excellent use of a renewable resource. In this case, natural cork used as an insulated render. The next award is for Best Off-Site Manufactured Home. Pre-manufactured construction systems can deliver more than just impressive build speeds. On the shortlist for this category are four stunning individual projects that show the quality and design choice this route offers self-builders. And here they are. And the winner is the Wee House Company. This project shows one of the many ways off-site manufacture can make a tangible difference in our market, delivering a stylish home in just 35 weeks from first meeting the clients to handing over the keys. And in the Outer Hebrides, no less. Congratulations. As we all know, self-builders need a very specific type of mortgage to enable their projects so we now celebrate the lenders that offer the very best services and products in the field. I'd like to welcome Rachel Pine from our headline sponsor, Build Store, to announce the winner in this category. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Richard. The award is decided by a combination of judges' votes, 
scoring against an industry framework, and the results of a customer satisfaction survey conducted among self-build mortgage customers. Bill Storer proud to have been headline sponsor of the industry's premier rewards scheme since it launched in 2012. Best self-build mortgage lender is clearly an important category as without finance, few schemes would ever get off the ground. So let's look at the shortlist. So let's see who's won. The winner of the Best self build Lender Award this year is the Ecology Building Society. Congratulations. The judges were impressed by Ecology's products and high profile support of NAXPA, the National Custom self build Association, whilst the self builders survey revealed that 100% of the people surveyed said they would strongly recommend Ecology to a friend, which is an amazing result. Now for one of our most popular categories, Best Timber Frame Home. There's always an astounding number of high quality entries for this category, confirming the popularity of timber frames to self-builders. After much debate, the judges couldn't whittle it down to a short list of less than eight inspiring projects. Let's take a look at the short list. Congratulations to the 2020 winner, Graven Hill, with a Bear and Bull Architect for the Omateo's Timber Frame Home. The judges felt that this was a compact, modest home with a great floor plan and a lovely mix of external materials completed for a very good build cost. You can see how you could live here very comfortably. Our 12th award of the ceremony goes to the best eco home, this is a highly popular category with both the industry and self-builders alike. All the shortlisted entries deliver cutting-edge performance and sustainability credentials. There are five excellent projects on the shortlist. Let's take a look. The winner is Builder Kit for Toller Grove. Set over three levels, this passive house project in the north of England was completed for an impressive build cost, showing that eco homes don't have to be prohibitively expensive to build. Specifying the right windows is a critical decision for every self builder, and there are so many to choose from. This shortlist will point them in the direction of some of the best products currently on the market. The nominees for Best Window 2020 are on your screen now. and I'm delighted to announce that this year's winner is Air for their Mod series. The judges loved the amount of flexibility and choice available in the Mod range, a high-quality UK product that's bound to appeal to self-builders and renovators alike. And now, on to Best Oak Frame Home. This category is kindly sponsored by Stovax. Please welcome Matt Beckenham, the Marketing Director of Stovax, to announce the winner. Hello, Matt. Hi, Richard. Whether contemporary or traditional in style, creating a home that's full of character is top of the agenda for self-builders. And Oak Frame can deliver that in spades. Stovax and Gasco are pleased to be sponsoring the best Oak Frame house. Let's see which of the following companies you think should win. A 
let's open the envelope and reveal the winner. And the winner of the best oak frame home is Complete Oak Home for Chilton Cottage. Congratulations from all of us at Stoax and Casco. Complete Oak Home have delivered a wonderful modern home packed with traditional touches. The judges were particularly taken by impressive interior features, such as the contrast between charming exposed oak in the main house and painted rafters in the more contemporary sunroom. And now on to the next category, innovation in insulation. Take a look at this year's impressive shortlist. And I'm delighted to announce that the 2020 winner is Core Conservation for their Thermo Rasante Aerogel Thermal Lime Plaster. A revolutionary lime plaster that boosts insulation values by the inclusion of aerogel. It doesn't get much more innovative than incorporating space age technology into a breathable product suitable for heritage buildings. Our next category is best accessible or inclusive home. Good quality inclusive design can help us all to enjoy an independent way of life in our homes for longer and will ensure our new housing stock remains appealing to future owners. Here's the shortlist. And I can now reveal that the winner is LAPD Architects for Greenfields. With this project, LAPD delivered everything the client wanted with a beautifully conceived inclusive renovation that has transformed the homeowner's quality of life. What's more, it's an approach that could be replicated in many more homes across the UK. Our 17th award today is a big one, Best Council for Self-Builders. And I'm delighted to welcome the CEO of NAXPA, Andrew Badley Chapel, to announce this year's winner. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Richard. Councils are in a unique position to help or hinder people's dreams of building an individual home. So it's great to see a shortlist of five councils adopting strong policies to support self-builders' aspirations. Indeed, NAXPA's right to build task force, which is funded by the government, works with councils and other organisations to help deliver more custom and self-build homes. And it's really great to see our shortlist today. So we've got some great locations and some really great councils. I've got the envelope in front of me and I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Right, well, I'm pleased and proud to say that the winner of the best council for custom and self-build this year is Glasgow City Council. Really great job and please keep up all your good work. The team at Glasgow have been doing a great job of creating self-build plots in urban locations, and those efforts are really coming to fruition, proving that self and custom build can be a genuine option in bustling towns and cities. Now we're jumping into the future with best home technology product or installation. For this category, our judges were looking for innovation, lifestyle benefits, and value for money. Take a look at the shortlist. The winner is BowLogic for their wired smart home system. The judges were impressed with BowLogic's modular system, which aims to make smart home control even more affordable and achievable for the average self-builder. 
via a plug-and-play unit that's easy to install. This award is for the best roofing system or product, a choice that can have a massive impact on the finished look of a home. Let's all take a look at the shortlist. The 2020 winner is Wall Barn for their M-Tray Instant Green Roof System. Green roofs are growing in popularity, helping to reduce the visual impact of a project and improving biodiversity. This system makes installation easy for any hands-on self-builder and the Sedum version is zero maintenance. Next up is Best ICF Home. I've seen the insulated concrete formwork construction system in action with my own eyes at build its self-build education house at Graven Hill and it clearly offers the potential to create a really high quality home. The short lift for best ICF home is up on your screens now. I'm pleased to tell you that the deserved winners are Van Ellen and Sharon for Beechwood. The judges commented that this is a perfect example of how ICF can be used. Carved out of a sloping plot, the house is a triumph with beautiful detailing and a fantastic outlook. Next on the agenda is Best Joinery Product. Here to announce this year's winner is Harvey Fremlin, Managing Director of the National Self-Build and Renovation Centre. Hello, Harvey. Afternoon, Richard. This category has a short list that ranges from stylish staircases to kitchens and even secret doors. Let's take a look at the companies who are shortlisted for Best Joining Product 2020. Okay, and here it is, the big Oscar moment. Let's have a look at who's inside this special golden envelope. And I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the best joinery product is Cloaking TSS for the Thatch Barn Staircase. Congratulations to everyone at Cloaking. Trying to put anything new into a Grade 2 listed house can be difficult, but Clerping TSS have achieved that with aplomb in this cottage, creating a beautifully integrated, highly engineered floating staircase that's obviously new, but that does not detract from the old. We now take a look at the best glazed doors, a hugely popular feature of most people's self-built homes, and we celebrate six industry leaders who are shortlisted tonight. It was a tough one for the judges in this highly competitive category, but the winner is Express Bifolding Doors for XP Vision. The judges felt this was the first time they'd seen bifold doors with a big enough glazed area to rival sliding doors for maximizing views. And at a good price point too. Congratulations to Express. This award is for the best cladding system or product. Just like roofing, this is one of those long-lasting choices that can make or break a project. Let's take a look at the shortlist. The 2020 winner is Cooper Pizarras for their Cooper Clad Natural Slate Rain Screen Cladding System. The system makes a slate wall finish more accessible for the average self-builder. In fact, I think we may have seen it used to great effect on a few of this year's shortlisted projects. A deserving winner. 
The penultimate category is Best Brick Home. The four shortlisted companies have all taken the use of brick to the next level, combining high-quality materials with excellent detailing. Here's the shortlist. The winner is Northcote Brick. The judges were wowed by this characterful house, where the quality of the handmade brick blend is matched only by the beautiful realization of the architectural detailing, including a nod to the window tax with a bricked up opening. And we have saved the best till last. The final award tonight is for Best Self Build or Renovation Project 2020. The category is kindly sponsored by Self Build Zone. So I'm pleased to invite Peter Richardson, director at Self Build Zone, to announce the winner. Welcome, Peter. Hello, Richard. The shortlist was chosen by Build It's editorial team from the projects featured in the magazine over the last year and then voted on by Build It readers. Self Build Zone have been providing insurance for self builders for nearly 20 years, and we are delighted to be sponsoring such an inspirational category of great projects. Let's have a look at them now. All very impressive and no doubt winners in their owner's eyes. But there can only be one winner and they are Sharon and Martin Newman for their sleek, semi-detached self-build homes. Well done. This pair of semi-detached homes captured the reader's imagination as a fantastic way to share some of the core costs of self-building and make the most of a plot while delivering the design, quality, and lifestyle both families wanted. And so we've come to the end of this year's awards. A final congratulations to everyone shortlisted today, and of course, even more praise for the 2020 winners. More details on the winning entries will be published in the Build It Winners supplement later this year. It has been an extraordinarily challenging year, so it's wonderful to take time out and celebrate these award-winning products and projects in the self-build industry's most prestigious award scheme. It's great news that Self-Build has proved so resilient this year, and with the vaccines coming on stream and our government firmly behind growing the Self-Build and Custom-Build sectors, I'm sure 2021 is going to be a great year for all of us. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.